Hello and welcome to my garden. I'm the herb and garden fairy grandmother and today we're talking about blue porterweed. Porterweed is a herbaceous perennial in the verbena family, native to tropical and subtropical regions of the Americas. The genus includes about 60 species. This blue porterweed that I'm growing is a low growing wildflower. It usually flowers in the summer, but may flower year round in South Florida. If you live in an area where the temperature gets below freezing, you will need to bring it indoors during the winter months. It is an excellent addition to a butterfly garden as it is the host plant and nectar source of many butterfly species. Blue porterweed is drought tolerant, mildly salt tolerant, and does well in poor soil. It also makes a nice ground cover in dry, sunny areas. It also does well in a container. It can be grown from seeds or cuttings and should be pruned to main maintain its size and shape. But blue porterweed isn't just for pollinators. Much of the plant is edible to humans. Flowers, look at these cute little flowers, can be eaten and they have a mushroom-like flavor. Flower spikes can be used as you would a bay leaf to season soups and stews. Leaves can be dried and steeped into a foamy tea. A foaming porter-like brew, much like beer, is made from at least one species in the Bahamas. The drink is used for fever and for the cooling of the blood and as a wash for skin irritations. But remember, before consuming any herb, flower, or vegetable you haven't tried before, do your own research.